Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ah, ah. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Oluwake Mishubeson. And in today's video, I'll be taking you guys along to an African store. Guys, this is not my first time I'm going to an African store, but most times when I go, I'm always in a hurry. Like, I'm always in a rush, just pop in and get one or two things. But I decided to make this video so that I realize that most of us, um, we are so scared that, um, oh, when I get to the UK, I might not be able to eat this, I might not be able to eat that. Guys, everything that you need, I mean everything every spice every african spice that you need is available in the uk everything so i decided to make a video so to show you guys and you know to show you guys the prices and these stores are actually affordable i don't know why most of us are scared they are not that once you start earning in pounds though if you so if you if you <laughs> change these items like if you are the type that keeps you no know, calculating changing stuffs from pounds to naira it will be expensive but once you start earning in pounds most of these things are just affordable and you will not really miss out on most of your african foods and i still have most of my stuffs because i told you guys <laughs> it's as if i came to this uk to eat so <laughs> i still have all my supplies like i still have all my food stuffs most of them though, have, though we've been eating a lot but i still have a lot of them because i brought a lot of food stuffs to this country i brought a lot all my garbage i said garbage <laughs> all my bag allowance all the allowance that the airline i used gave to us we we're all filled with food stuffs they were all filled with food so i told you guys that um So, I didn't really bring any clothes to the UK. I didn't, I didn't even bring any clothes. Just one or two jeans. Yeah, one or two jeans and just one winter jacket. And every other thing. And don't even bring any shoe. Just one sneaker. So, the whole space, the whole available space, we're filled with food stores. <laughs> so, I've not really been missing out. But, you know, there are some stuffs that you cannot really... Um, bring with you like my way do you understand i like them fresh and i was told that i could get them fresh from here so there's an african store very close to me i'll be going there to get a video today so that i can eat my amala guys i'm i've really missed my amala i brought uh my lubo but then i did i need the ewedu you know so that it will go down well <laughs> so i'll be buying um the ewedu from the african store and also pepe Yes, I need some pepper and some chicken. I'll be getting chicken from Iceland. Guys, see, eh? <laughs> see, for a foodie like me, one thing I can assure you in the UK is that food can never be your problem. <laughs> food is quite affordable, yeah. No matter how broke you are, food will be least of your problems. So that's one thing I like about the UK. And even the African foods that we are shouting, they are still quite affordable. So that's one beautiful thing about the uk clothes or food or mm -mm. no matter how broke you are you still be able to afford a good meal and wear nice clothes so guys come with me to the african store <laughs> and guys don't forget to like my videos share and subscribe click on the post notification so you'll be one of the first to see my video when i post them thank you for the love come with me guys Mwah! So guys, here we are at the African store. I came in hobby. And guys, there's something that keeps baffling me about all these African stores. Most of them, in fact, all of them are not even owned by Africans. They are owned by Asians. And they seem to know all the names of everything you want to buy. Watch this, guys. That's parsley. Do you have a way to? Yeah, yeah, fresh one. Okay. Okay. This is. This is not a wedu. <laughs> That's a four. Yeah, this is a four. Ah, where is the wedu? Where is the wedu? I don't. No, this is not. 
This one will do. This is a fun one. Are these the way to do? Yes. Okay. It looks so big. Yeah, it's the way to do. Okay. It's the way to do. If I let's buy. So you got it. He got it. But let's buy three. Let's buy three of a way to do. What is one? How much is one? One sixty nine. One sixty nine. Okay. This 49. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Farmer Malaita like me. I couldn't recognize my radio. And guys, did you hear the price? That is what I keep telling people that if you keep converting the pounds to naira it to look expensive, 169, that is one one pound sixty-nine pence is a whole lot of money if you exchange it to naira, but guys 169 pence 169 is nothing here <laughs> all right so guys um that is jebu gary over there for jebu gary for jebu gary lovers and that's the yellow gary and and guys see your favorite brand here that is pick i think the biggest one which is sold for nine nine pound 99 and this milo sold for 5.99 And guys, that's a wallo over there, known as honey beans, that's sweet beans, and it's sold for three pounds ninety nine. Mm. And that's Ogi over there. Can you see Ogi? They even wrote it in Yoruba, yeah. Ogi, pap. I think that's the powder one. And that's wheat over there. Wheat, Cerillac. And that's palm oil over there, different brands. And that's for £1.99. I think maybe I think that's the bottle, yeah, a bottle. Some brands are sold for four pound ninety nine. Depends on the brand you want. And that's a um, pap. Uh, this corn here, corn for those that want to make pap by themselves. That's one pound thirty nine. Yeah. And see magista. Your sister see onga too. They are quite affordable. That's corn. Hmm, fresh corn. Indomie, guys, where are you? See your favorite brand here, Indomie, and that's for one pound. I think one for one pound. <laughs> that's eight hundred naira in naira. <laughs> it's a huge money for Indomie that we buy for how much? But anyways, that's it. It's quite affordable in pound here. Yeah. So that's still palm oil. Yeah, yeah. That's the brand I said for one pound ninety nine. Yeah, Maggie no is sold for three pound ninety nine, while and Maggie Star is sold for five pound. You're about babe like me now. Look at me packing pepper. <laughs> but guys, this uh, pepper is really spicy. It's really, really spicy. It was so hot. I had to, you know, return some. But I'll be your babe now. Pepper, do nothing on me. <laughs> See those fresh plantains now, very fresh. That's for three pound, yeah, three pound ninety nine or so. I had to pack my pepper inside nylon. The, the guy there told me to put it inside nylon, so they will just wait it. They will weigh it and then they will tell you the price. And it was affordable. I think I bought all that pepper for one pound something, no, two pound. Pepper is quite expensive over there, so that was for two pound. Mata, 
Guys, can you see this? Look at your scent leaves now. Scent leaves, otazi leaves, dried ones, and each one is one pound. One pound, I guess. That's sweet spice. That's banga spice. And that is your dried iru. That's iru. So there's actually nothing. That's grand egusi. That's the old egusi. There's nothing you want that you can't get. That's crayfish. That's crayfish. That's um, what's it called? Oporoko. Yeah, that's oporoko. That's obono. One pound. So yeah, it's one pound. One pound. One pound. So there's actually nothing you want that you won't get. That's dates over there for two pound forty nine. Quite affordable, right? So there's actually nothing you want in an African store that you will not get, guys. So just as if all the Yoruba people in the town in town came to have meeting here today. Look at us peeing Yoruba like anything. <laughs> so our next stop was iceland i told you earlier that i'll be getting chicken and guys see see how big that pack of chicken is three for ten pound that's really affordable imagine i talk him i said food no fee be your problem for this uk at all it's quite it's really really big so i just got three packs the three for ten pound different parts like the different pound the labs the wings and different parts of the chicken so I got ten pound, uh, three for ten pounds, and that was all I got from Iceland. That was me. That was Obi Pain, and that was it. So we are home guys and hi the job was driving from picking this seri doing hi chai it's been long <laughs> so guys thank you for watching this video we really appreciate don't forget to subscribe like and share we love you hi love you thank you bye Mwah.